Well, Tom, tell us what you're uh, doing down here in Melbourne today. Yeah, look, pretty exciting times. We've taken possession of a, of a new car for uh, for this year and and the years to come. Um, it was look, it was a change that was inevitable. It was always coming, uh, and there have been talk about us doing this for quite some time. And we spent some time with Luke in uh, previous to last year, discussing some options uh, with M Sport, and Luke had gone back to M Sport for us a few times, and there was a couple of options there. COVID hit took a real you know impact to what we were sort of doing and where we we're moving so everything went on hold Luke rang me sort of uh, end of last year and said look things have changed my car is going to be up for sale and I want you to take it off my hands so here we are. The car is obviously quite different to what we're used to seeing you in have you had much of an opportunity to sit, sit in there and, and get a feel you know right hand left hand drive all those different changes? No well look that's going to be the uh, the new thing for us I think and for me uh, personally is getting used to to the left hand drive I've, ne I've only ever driven left hand car overseas and it's not been on a, on a rally road so look it will be a bit different but um, like everyone said it, it'll get used to it pretty quick and it's something that I'll just I'll take my time with we've got a test day coming up pretty soon so it'll be my first opportunity to get in the car so look really looking forward to it can't get a better car the R5 is by far and the M Sport R5 is definitely the best car in the world I feel. And your Evo was a bit of a fan favourite, it was a great car to watch out there, made good noise, yeah. looks good. Where's it off to and, and, and what's happened to that car? Yeah, so that car's actually come back, it's come down to Melbourne, so uh, that's gone to Danny Traverso, who's uh, in the Targa sort of scene and he's been around for a fair few years. He drives an Evo 9 in that and has been uh, very successful, so the car was sort of announced to him as soon as I put it up for sale and he was straight on to me on the phone. He was up within a couple of days. He went for a test drive, he had a look and it was gone. So um, I think he will probably, I'd say at some point, might step into ARC. Uh, and I think he will be quite a quick um, quick driver. And um, he did a test last week and thoroughly enjoyed the car and, and couldn't believe sort of how it sort of handled. So um, I think he'll do quite well. Still probably have a bit of an emotional attachment to that car. Podiums at Rally Australia and, you know, are you going to miss it? Definitely, I think it was a sad day to move it on. I think there was a, an aspect there that I sort of wanted to keep it. The thought pattern of mine was, I'll give it to someone that's going to use it. I can always do one or grab one again, or that car may come back to me one day. Uh, but there is definitely that, that part when it drove out that um, we all sat there and looked at it and went, oh, this is a bit of a sad day. So there were, there's always going to be an attachment. We did a lot in that car. Um, that sort of was got me to where I am today. So um, I owe a lot to that car. This, like I said, this opportunity arose and, and we couldn't knock it back. It just, we had to take it. And, and we'll, we'll take our time and, and get into a bit of a groove. And then hopefully, you know, I'm not putting any pressure on ourselves, but hopefully towards the end of the year, or even if it's next year, we can start giving Harry and Lewis a bit of a hurry up.